Hey guys, what's up? It has been a whirlwind of a week. So last week's vlog, I showed you my hair transformation and New Year's Eve. Well, it's just been a few days since then and the last 48 hours have been crazy. And they're about to get even crazier because um, in about an hour or two hours, me, my husband, and a bunch of college students are going to Passion. Um, I think there's about 18 of us. We're gonna be driving from Kentucky to Atlanta, Georgia for Passion and I'm really excited. this video and kind of just talk about the few of the things that I've learned but passion was really awesome I had never been to passion prior to obviously this year I've heard lots about it especially through TikTok um, last year and the year before that and so um, I was very curious I don't even think I knew what passion was until about two years ago um, but it is a Christian conference held in Atlanta, Georgia, and also I think in DC, Washington, DC. Um, and it is a conference specifically for college age kids. So ages 18 through 25. So whether you are in, you just graduated high school or you are kind of leaving college slash going to graduate school. Um, excuse me, oh my goodness. So it's kind of geared more towards that age group and there were many 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 great speakers um levi lesko sadie robertson christine kane they had many amazing worship artists like phil wickham um carrie job cody carnes i believe you say his name um they had crowder and uh kb and uh brandon lake so all these really amazing artists and worship leaders and great communicators. 
um, just come and talk about scripture. And I really loved it. I felt like it was a really theologically dense, in a good way, um, session. And it was very much what this generation of, of people need to hear, um, which is something that I absolutely love. My favorite speaker out of the entire week hands down was Christine Kane. I have loved her. I love I love the way that she preaches, how fierce she is, how bold she is in Christ. Um, the first time I ever heard her, I think I was a freshman or sophomore in high school. Um, and I was just like, oh my gosh, I love this woman. Like she is just so fierce for the word of God. She loves God so much. But her message honestly uh, stood out to the most stood out the most to me and spoke to me a lot. Um, she talked about how God is doing a new thing um, and how often we look at God's how God did things back then and assume he's going to do the same exact thing now when he isn't. He's doing a new thing. Um, and when we focus on the past of how God has done things in the past, we may miss how God is moving right now. Um, and I just felt like that was such, such a strong message. She also talked about identity and how our identity is not in what has happened to us, no matter what has happened to you. Our identity is not in that. It's not in any of those things. Our identity is found in Christ, not what has happened to us, but whose we are. Um, and I just was like, wow, like that, it was such a powerful message and something that, um, a lot of people need to hear now. I'm not sure if Passion records it and saves it for later, but I really, really wish that um, if they do that, you guys should definitely go check out that message because it was really good. Um, but yeah, that was the main thing that I learned. And honestly, God has just really been pounding it into my heart that the importance of knowing scripture and how knowing scripture transforms your life changes your life, brings you closer to God. Um, and so there was just an emphasis for me on like, okay, like knowing scripture isn't just, oh, I read my chapter for the day and I'm, and I'm going to like, my, I'm done. Like it, that's not what knowing the word is. Knowing is memorizing it and rereading it and all of those things. And so, um, to me, that was really emphasized in this session, but I just wanted to give you guys a short little recap of what I learned personally um, through it. I thought it was so much fun. I know that all of us who went, we are so, so tired. We probably only got five or six hours of sleep per night. Um, and we definitely not did not eat the best either, um, but it was a lot of fun. And if you can, I would definitely try and make it to passion next year because it was so, so enjoyable.